So your large company is looking for a new phone system and you're really smart and you're saying, hey, what's the checklist that I should make as far as must haves for our new phone system? Great question. And that checklist will definitely help you pick the right vendors if you make it really good. And so what I wanted to do is make a video on this topic because every time a large company contacts me and asks me for my recommendations on the best vendors to quote for their new phone system, I go through a list of questions. And that, that discovery question list is what I'm making this video series on. So today's topic is call flow. What things should you be kind of documenting and, and kind of writing down about how calls are flowing through your organization? What things should you be looking into? That's what the video today is gonna to talk about. But before I get too deep into it, just a quick plug. If you like the video, don't forget to hit the like button down below and sub please sub subscribe to the channel. That will really help me out a lot. And if you want my recommendations for the best cloud PBX companies your large organizations should be quoting based on your requirements, you can watch this video, that's great. But if you want a shortcut, just contact me. It won't cost you a thing and I'll give you some great recommendations. More information on that at the end of the video. All right, so when it comes to shopping your phone system, one of the things you want to consider is call flow. I've thrown that question out and I know that that word is a little bit confusing. Usually I'll say, hey, can you tell me a little bit about your call flow? And a customer will say, well, what do you, what do you mean by that? What I mean by that is trying to really understand how calls come and go out of your organization. What are some of the things that you need to think about? For instance, when a call comes into your organization, do you have a call center that's answering certain types of calls like customer service or tech support or you know maybe internally they're starting tickets for IT or things like that? What are some of the different types of calls that are coming in? Or is it, you know, do you have a sales department? Do you do a lot of marketing and a lot of marketing calls are coming into the sales department? Is it an 800 number that a lot of people are calling? And when the calls come in, is it a live person answering the phone? Or does everything go to an auto attendant? From the auto attendant, are there different call groups or ring groups or hunt groups set up? Those are all the same thing, the different terms for the same thing, but like is there an ACD, automatic call distribution where you know, for sales, it rings five different people at the same time, or maybe people sitting queue on hold while calls are, you know, assigned to different people within the organization and calls are answered. So those are all kind of call flow things. More stuff to think about is the call volume. Are we taking a lot of calls? Is it something where we have a lot of inbound calls or are we making a lot of outbound calls? Think about the different departments within your organization and how they might make and receive calls. It's, that's kind of the easiest way to do it is kind of by department because every department's a little bit different, right? Some departments are making only internal calls. Some departments are making only external calls. When calls come into your organization, is it all on a main number or do people call everyone's DID or direct number a lot of times? And are people out and about in the field, are calls coming in and being transferred to people on their cell phones? Is that really important to you guys? So things like that, you know, walk through it, think about it, document it. That's really important because once you understand that, if you, when you come to somebody like me and you really understand your call flow, it's much easier for me to give you some great recommendations as opposed to if we go through some demos and I make some recommendations to you and all of a sudden you start involving other departments and then they start saying, well, hey, that's not gonna work for us because I do this all the time or I do that all the time. Better to ask a few of those questions up front. You don't have to be too detailed. Some of the stuff is gonna be the same options with every single provider, but it's good for you to know up front because I found a lot of times the IT department are the folks that are shopping for this stuff. And you know, if they don't branch out and start talking to the other departments, sometimes they, they start looking at things and start missing some things down the road. So I hope that was helpful. If so, don't forget to hit the like button down below and subscribe to the channel, please. That would be a great help to me. And if you like my recommendations, just reach out and contact me. Within a few questions, 
I'll give you the right vendors that your company should be quoting for your specific requirements for a new phone system for a large organization. I'm happy to help you. And the nice thing is I've been doing this for 18 years. I know all the players out there. I know all the vendors you should be looking at. I also know the ones you should probably be staying away from who have a really bad reputation. And the nice thing is, is those vendors pay me my broker fee. So you don't have to pay me anything. Your company does not have to pay me for my recommendations. So there's no excuse not to reach, not to at least reach out and call me. Hope that was helpful. If so, again, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to the channel and I'll catch you on the next one.